Hi guys, we'd like to introduce our Land Cruiser Prado 27. Let's go. So let's start with the engine. That's a V6 3.4 liters petrol uh, from 2000. So we have done a lot of service and modification to the car, to the engine and all the components to make it super reliable. Um, first of all, the biggest part we have changed is the timing belt. So we've changed all the timing belt kit. We've also changed the radiator, radiator hose. We have changed the fuel filter. We have changed the main battery, the crank battery. We've also had, uh, added a second battery and a circuit breaker right there. Um, and recently we just did like maybe a southern K ago uh, air filter and uh, oil filter. Okay, now let's make a tour of the exterior of the car. So what we got first is TGM bull bar, brand new. We bought it uh, in February 2020 with uh, King's LED spotlight. Super efficient. Here we got the Oricom antenna for the Oricom uh, radio which is inside. Um, here we got the snorkel, Safari snorkel. What else? Spare tire, obviously, with uh, well, which that is our trash trash bag. We got a brand new Wonderwall um, back awning, so it's 1.2 meters, and we also have another awning on the left that the same brand from BCF, I guess. Uh, Wonderwall awning, that's a pretty big one. That's uh, 2.4, 2.5 meters. So 1.2 and 2.5 meters on the outside. What else? We got the rooftop tent. That's James Barut rooftop tent. The model is the, uh, I guess it's the Explorer. On the, yeah, it's the Explorer Evolution. So we bought it um, brand new from a distributor in Australia. And what we've done is, uh, we have used the space on the top of the rooftop tent to put our max tracks. That's really convenient, so we can save space. And I forgot to tell about uh, the roof rack. We have a King's roof rack, which is the flat model, and we've made a special bracket for the biggest uh, awning, so we can put the rooftop tent on the roof rack, and also being able to put both of the awnings so that's a custom, um, yeah, custom bracket we've, we've done to make it possible. Now let's go inside the car. That's the most exciting part. Here we are. So we've done a lot of work um, building these cabinets. That's a custom cabinet made of plywood, 16 mil. So let's begin with first, uh, well, we got two drawers, Titan drawers, with custom, let's say, uh, cutboard that also can be used as a desk to prepare food. So we got boxes inside. You got three boxes inside from Ikea to use um, most of the space in the drawer and this fits perfectly on it and it can close super easily and we got the same on the top okay we got some other boxes if you want to come check so we got plastic boxes there from ikea as well so really the good thing is um you never have enough boards when you prepare foods so we got one we got two and we also have the third one also made of uh, cutboard, which is really convenient when you cook. So you can basically cook your stuff, cook your veggies and put your, um, your plates over there. And yeah, that's really, really convenient. So that's all and made. So that's the drawers, one, two. You also have some space here to put maybe a small table or some, some chairs. A fridge slider, we made it ourselves. So it blocked. These are um, from the slider are from Bunnings, and we got here a 42, a 40 liters fridge 
That's the CFF40 uh, from Waco. Super, well, works super good, super well. So you can open it um, from that way and also from that way, which is super cool. If you want to come have a look inside, you have two different compartments. Um, that's only a fridge, not a freezer. And also you can, when you want to clean it, take everything out, which is cool. You have a small light inside and that fits perfectly and that's blocked as well, so this doesn't move. Then we got this big platform. That's a platform in two sections. That's the first sections when we have the car in the five-seater configuration, okay? So the cool thing is we made the two kind of wings to enjoy all the space and to make profit of all the space of, uh, of the car. So because having access is really difficult, We've put hinges, so you can just open it, put some stuff inside, maybe stuff that you don't use a lot, and then close it, and being able to use then uh, all the space for storage. That's the same on both sides. So that's about the, the main cabinet. Um, that's another custom storage solution. We um, attach to the door of the car, so it's really, really sturdy, it's really solid, it won't move. So here we have different sections for our um, bathroom stuff like uh, toothbrush, soap, uh, sponge, we put our, um, the liquid for the dishes, uh, all the forks, knives, uh, we put oil, we put salt, pepper, everything is right there uh, with bungee cords, so that's, uh, makes everything really, really stable. And this part is for the dishes. So this is a collapsible sink and we just put it inside so we can wash our dishes and then we just empty it, we close it, we put it back, close it and we're done. So on the driver's side, we got more storage. We got the classic on the Prado, um, this central storage here, right there, which is pretty deep. Um, we also have this storage on the dashboard. We've protected with some rubber mats. Some more storage here in front of the passenger and below. That's it for the front. And we also have, uh, yeah, we also added this accessory, which is super convenient uh, to put the thing that you use every day, pen and sunglasses, especially sunglasses, because we use it a lot and it's safer to put them here mm. and not in the small cabinets. So this is the five-seater configuration, okay? Uh, that's not the configuration that we use when we travel because we are only two So we basically fold those seats and we put the extra table We'll show you after how it looks but when you are in this configuration you have storage under the Passenger and driver uh, seats. So we made them ourselves protected with, with rubber mats And also some mesh some bungee mesh on the on the seats to put like clothes, maybe bottle of, bottle of water, stuff like that. And now let's see how it looks when we got the only two person configuration and this folded with a table on top. Now we have the two seater configuration. So basically what we did is we just folded the three rear seats and we added this extra table um, so now we got two options. The first is we can use this structure as a bed when you really want to sleep inside because there is a storm outside because you want to sleep maybe in a town so you're not allowed to use the rooftop tent. You're pretty close to the ceiling but you can sleep in there. It's uh, stable enough and tough enough to support two people. Or the second option is as we do we use this structure um, for storage so we can put boxes on it and under it an example the first box we put our clothes a second box we can put some more clothes or we can put it at the back some small boxes to put 
anything that you want. So with this structure, you have a lot of space for storage. And that's what we need as backpackers uh, to travel around the country. That's plenty of space for two people. And that's also a good option to have or not to have, depending on your situation and what your camping objective are. So now I'd like to explain you how the water tank works. So we got two exits for the water on the water tank. Okay, so we got two hoses, a small one and a big one. One is linked straight to the water tank. Okay, so without any pump. So we only use gravity to make the water come out. That's really convenient when we do the dishes, when we brush our teeth, uh, when we want to fill up uh, the bottle of, of water, that's the one that we use. But there is another option for when we want to take a shower, when we want to clean stuff, and that is um, the hose connected to the water pump. So this hose manual and the other one is connected to the water pumps. That's a 12 volt water pump. Um, it says six liters per minute. So to use the water pump as a shower, for example, we just press the button right there and we get a very good pressure, um, pressurized water coming. So we use that to clean the car, to clean, um, to clean our feet, to take a shower, uh, what else? Well, that's really convenient to have the possibility to have some pressure. So that's the two ways of using the water tank. And now the question is, how do we fill it up? So to fill up this water tank, it's super simple. We got the entry, which is right there, that's the manual one, so that's the blue. And we got the uh, output of the water tank, which is there, okay? So this is connected to the top of the water tank. So we just open it. So the goal for that is when the water tank is full, the water is gonna come up, the excess of water is gonna come up by this hose on the outside of the car. That way we don't have to check the level of the water in the water tank because it's, it's, uh, it's dark, it's black, so we can't see through it. So we just disconnect this part. We take another water hose, we connect it um, to the water source from, um, can be a um, gas station, can be the camping, wherever you are. Just plug it, you open it, with the pressure it's gonna go in the water tank, and once the water tank is full, the excess of water is gonna go out by the other hose. So that way, you don't have to worry about is the water tank full or not, you just plug it, and once you have some water coming out from this hose, on the side, that means that your water tank is full and you have 62 liters of fresh water. Now let's talk about the battery system. Um, what we did is we added second battery, so that's an AGM battery, that's a 120 amperes, and we have put it not under the bonnet, but right there in the cabinet, and we have protected it so it doesn't move at all. What we've done is just creating this um, this hole in the cabinet. So the battery is right there inside and what we got is um, This is a DC DC charger. So that's connected to the battery It allows the battery to be charged by two different ways can be with the main battery with the main starter when the batch when the car is running so that charges second battery or also with the solar panel we also have a power inverter that's a 300 watts domestic. It's perfect for computers, uh, small devices. 300 is more than enough. And it's also connected to the second battery. Okay, it works super well. The fridge is connected straight to the second battery. Um, and it works basically 24 seven every day. So all this job, the electricity job has been done by professional, by an electrician, an auto electrician. Um, and it's really, really, it's working super well, uh, really reliable. We don't have any issue with it. And we have yeah, protected it the best we could. So it doesn't move even when we are doing uh, four wheel drive.
and that's also making an extra storage. At the rear, we got a switch panel, which is connected to the second battery, to the dual battery system. Uh, we got three switches right there. We only use at, at the moment one. Uh, this one, which is connected to the water tank, to the um, water pump. We have a voltmeter, so we know how many volts we do have in the AGM battery. Um, this small device is connected to the DC-DC charger and to the solar panel, so we know how many volts are coming in in the battery when we connect it to the solar panel. We also have a 12 volt, volt uh, cigarette plug right there and here we connect our two exterior lights we just plug it and this is linked this is connected to those two lights which go on the awnings that way we have lights at night uh, we can see what we eat when we cook and when we don't use them we just disconnect them and we store them inside thank you for watching guys hope you like the video if you have any comment or question about the car just give us a message bye